Hello and welcome again to my channel and my name is Kaushik Roy Chaudhary for those of you who are first time visitors and uh, this title might uh, give you a bit of a, a surprise which I can see uh, from I can imagine you know like what kind of title it is don't put up with instance error update database with entity framework migration in entity framework core migration so basically this was about the network error or an instance specific error that i had to put up with for about a few hours while creating my latest video teaching the ASP.NET Core creation of a web API, simple web API with NDD framework. So I will share my experience so that you do never have to put up with this kind of error. So let me explain, let, let us see the um, what error it was in more detail. Network related or instance specific error occurred while establishing a connection to a SQL server. The server was not found and or was not accessible. Verify that the instance name is correct and that the SQL server is configured to allow remote connection. Okay, provider name pipes provider error 40 could not open a connection to SQL server. Now, now I have since pushed this code into the source code into GitHub. So I will just clone from here and I will take a fresh version of this and I will show you. I will recreate my error and provide a solution that worked for me. Okay, so I will just copy it and let me clone it on my local machine all right so i will click on git bash here git bash is the command line tool that i am using frequently so it's all created now let me open this project, open the solution rather and that's in Visual Studio 2022. Now friends, this is the project which I have cloned from my GitHub repository and this is how the output looks like. This is a web API with a endpoint API slash customer and it gives you the customers in a nice JSON formatted manner. Now in order to reach that you know first of all let us recreate this, this error okay. So let me switch over to Visual Studio once more and uh, what I have done here I have got the migration already. I will do I will, the easier solution is that uh, delete this migration folder and remigrate okay so now it is all deleted okay there is no migration so i'm just going to apply a fresh migration but let me recreate this problem what i found in essence was that this connection string was missing over here so this part was missing and if you save this file so I have now uh, cleared the screen and now uh, I will issue this command. Add migration initial create. You can give it any name. This part initial create. You can. So it will succeed it. So this has created a migration folder with this application db context snapshot and this initial create.cs file okay that creates the table now if you in the same instance if you create uh, if you issue the command update database command let's see the fun that's where the application fades in updating the database and i have told you why it failed So now this is what the our title of this um, video is a network related or instance specific error occurred while establishing connection to the SQL server. The server was not found. Now if you go to 
uh, app settings dot json where your connection string is there or configurations are there and i put this connection string element over here in the json file connection strings colon uh, this uh, curly brace start and default connection starts and ends over here and now if you do this update database command again let's see the fun migration is already applied there is already an object name customers in the database okay all right so i change the database name and i'll create a new database so if code is db1 let me give it name one it will get another fresh new database so it's all done so now if you click on this databases and refresh it database node and come back over here local you have got this ef code test db1 all right so this table is also there db1.customers and there will be no data because it's an empty table all right so that was uh, the diagnosis and rectification hope you enjoyed this video and if it has added anything to your knowledge please give me the feedback thank you very much